hello everybody welcome back to my video and in this video I will show you how to using the Google fonts in our website in this case I'm using the bootstrap framework so I will choose the Google fonts in my project all right so the first thing you need to do it searching font Google and then go through in Google fonts okay and I will give the example by the example I will using the Pacifico I get it this is and I will add to the collection okay and we review the font must be like this and going to the tabs is used okay in this section we will show the standard import and javascript if you want to load the fonts in your html you can using the standard using the link href and if you using the CSS cascade style sheet you can using the import or you can using the JavaScript like this case but in this case I will using the import using my CSS file so I will copy this codes I will copy then I will going to my project and going to style CSS and now I will pass right here and then save it okay so I will create a dummy content for difference about text we need the container then raw then call md4 okay so I will create the header too it's default font and the uh, some text like a Lorraine Ipsum okay I will save it and I will refresh my browser okay this is a default font which using the robot from a bootstrap framework okay guys so I'm going to my style I will create a new class uh, Pacifico and then I will give the param pra, uh, sorry guys I will give the properties it's font family and the value is Pacifico okay like this guys and then I'm going back into my index.html and I will copy this column and this is the Pacifico fonts and now we can give the class is Pacifico oops not using the uppercase it's only lowercase and I will save this index and refresh here we go like this case this is using the robot show with a default font and the second column is specific okay and the last column I will give the other fonts we save it and refresh okay this is uh, we can edit this font later and now we going back to Google Fonts and find the another font. Okay, I'm going this fonts. It's interesting. So I will add to collection and review, and I will remove the Pacifico and going to tabs use 
and going to import we copy then I will paste in my styling the name is railway dots all right so railway dots and the phone family is railway dots okay so I will add, give the class is railway dots and we refresh oops congratulations you have uh, changed the fonts okay sorry guys I, I have no yet to change this specific fonts is railway dot okay and we refresh okay so we have changed the header is railway dots yes of course you can using another fonts again by the way I will copy this row and I will remove the columns change the columns to be called MD12 and paste okay and next we need the dummy contents again okay oops I'm open my torrents okay guys so I will change this font into the what's in staring things fonts and if the fonts is okay uh, okay we will using the this fonts and if you remove we will use in the home image and yes home energy home nets home nets i can explain it okay so now we import again and make a new class with a name is home minutes and phone family is home minutes and next we give the class is home nets save it and refresh okay okay guys so i hope you can understand my tutorial and congratulations you have cleared the education about how to using the google fonts in our website or project okay guys so if you any question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe me and nice to meet you from indonesia angga rizky